What's up you friggin' geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to rationalize the denominator of cube roots and other higher roots, all right? But first I want to go over one with a square root just so this makes a little bit more sense, all right? So here we have 7 over the square root of 10, okay? So in order to rationalize this denominator, we just have to multiply the top and the bottom by this radical right here, by the square root, right? So I would multiply the top by the square root of 10 and the bottom by the square root of 10. Okay, so then if we multiply this out on top, 7 times the square root of 10, that would just be 7 times the square root of 10 over the square root of 10 times the square root of 10, which is equal to just 10. Okay, now the reason we're basically able to do this, or a shortcut way of kind of thinking about it, is because the index is equal to the exponents. All right, what the hell does that even mean? So let me explain. Now with a square root symbol, we don't normally write the index. And the index is just the number that's right here, uh, just to the outside of the radical. So for a square root, it's technically a 2. Okay, for a cube root, it's a 3, right? For a fourth root, it's a 4, right? You get the point. So with a square root, again, it's technically a 2. We don't write it, but it's technically a 2. Okay, so for this problem, our index is equal to 2. And we need our index to be equal to our exponents, okay? Now here, inside of these radicals, we have a 10, right? So 10 is the same thing as 10 raised to the first power. And it's the same thing over here, 10 raised to the first power. So how many exponents do we have? Well, we have 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, okay? So then just with the square root example, you can see our index is equal to our exponents, right? 2 is equal to 2. So you have to do the exact same thing when you're talking about cube roots, fourth roots, and other higher roots. Okay, so here we have 10 over the cube root of 2, okay? And as you can see, this 2 right here is by itself, so it's basically just raised to the first power, okay? So that means I need to multiply the top by the cube root of 2 squared, and I need to multiply the bottom by the cube root of 2 squared, right? Because our index is 3, and now our exponents match up, right? 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. Okay, and now we can multiply straight across, all right? So on top, we're going to have 10 times the cube root of 2 squared, which is 4. And that's going to be over the, let's do that again. That's going to be over, yeah, that's better. The cube root of 2 times the cube root of 2 squared. So again, our index matches our exponents, so everything's going to cancel out. So we're just going to be left with 2 on the bottom, right? 2. Now, uh, we can simplify something here, right? 10 over 2, or 10 divided by 2, that's equal to 5. So we can reduce that to 5 times the cube root of 4. Okay, so then that'd be your final answer. All right, so I switched this one up a little bit. So here we have 10 over the cube root of 2 squared. Okay, so in this case, you can see we already have an exponent right here, right? We, we already have a 2. So in this case, I just have to multiply the top and the bottom by the cube root of 2 to the first power, right? And same thing on the bottom, cube root of 2. Okay, so now you can see, again, that our index, 3, matches our exponents, right? We have a 2 here that we already started with, and then we're just multiplying it by this 2, again, basically to the first power, right? So then simplifying this, or just multiplying this out. So on top, we have 10 times the cube root of 2, right? 10 times the cube root of 2, and that's going to be over the cube root of 2 squared times the cube root of 2. So again, our index matches our exponents, so everything cancels out. So we're just left with this 2, right? So 2 right there, all right? So then again, 2 over, or 10 over 2, sorry, that reduces down to just 5. So 5 times the cube root of 2, right? So that's your final answer. Okay, so here we have the square root of 49 over the fourth root of 8. Okay, and this 8, again, is basically 8 to the first power, okay? So in order to rationalize the denominator right here, we're going to have to multiply the top and the bottom by the fourth root of 8 cubed. And we're going to do the same thing in the bottom, right? The fourth root of 8 cubed, okay? So again, our index is 4, and now our exponents also equal 4, right? We had a 1 right there to begin with, and now we have our 3, right? So 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Okay, so now we can multiply this out. So first of all, the square root of 49, that's just 7, right? And then we're multiplying that by the fourth root of 8 cubed. 
and that's going to be over just eight, right? Everything canceled out since it matches up, so we're just left with eight in the denominator. Okay, and now we can simplify this a little bit. So on top, we're going to have seven times. Now, eight cubed, that's equal to 512. So we're going to have the fourth root of 512 on top over eight. And now 512, we can actually break that up into 16 times 32, okay? So let's do that right here. So seven times the fourth root of 16 times the fourth root of 32. And again, this is all over eight, okay? And we can once again break down this fourth root of 32, okay? So let's just bring everything over really quick. So seven times the fourth root of 16 and this fourth root of 32, 32, again, we can split up into 16 times two. So we're gonna split that up into the fourth root of 16 times the fourth root of two, and that's gonna be over eight, okay? Now, the fourth root of 16 is equal to two, okay? So this is equal to two, and this is equal to two, okay? So on top, we really have seven times two times two, uh, 7 times 2 is 14, and then 14 times 2 is equal to 28, right? So on top, we have 28 times the fourth root of 2. So let's just write it over here. So 28 times the fourth root of 2 all over 8, right? And then one last thing we can do is reduce this, right? So 28 over 8, both of these are divisible by 4. So 28 over 8, we can reduce that down to 7 over two, and then we're still multiplying by this fourth root of two. Okay, so then your final answer right here would be seven times the fourth root of two over two. All right, last one. So here we have three over the fifth root of eight cubed. Okay, so again, a couple things to point out. Our index is equal to five, and our exponent, we already have an exponent here, which is a three. Right? So we need a, a 2, basically. So then we're going to multiply the top by the fifth root of 8 squared, and we're going to multiply the bottom by the fifth root of 8 squared. Okay, so now our index, right, 5, matches our exponents. 3 plus 2, okay? So now we can multiply this out. So let's do that. All right, so on top we're going to have 3 times the fifth root of eight squared. So that's gonna be the fifth root of 64, right? Eight squared is 64, and then that's gonna go over the denominator right here. So again, our index matches our exponents, so everything's gonna cancel out, right? So we're just left with our original number right there, so an eight, okay? So then we can simplify this again. Okay, so we're gonna have three times. Now, 64, we can break down into 32 times two, right? So I'm gonna break this down into the fifth root of 32 times the fifth root of two, and then that's gonna be over eight, right? Now the fifth root of 32 is equal to two, right? So then out here we have three times two, which is equal to six, right? So six times the fifth root of two, right? Fifth root of two, and that's over eight, right? Now six over eight, we can reduce that again down to three over four, right? So we're gonna have three times the fifth root of two over four. And that would be your final answer. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or wanna see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.